So here's our model of our chimpanzee, now with all the joints put in. Um, so you can see they're all lined up in this particular example along the y-axis because this is a, a simplified model and so we're trying to make it a little bit more abstract. Once you've got the joints in, the next thing to do is to put the muscles in. The system is, is really very similar. You have to define markers that represent the important points on a muscle, i.e. its origin and insertion. Uh, muscles can go through intermediate points called via points, and they can also wrap around um, cylinders that you can arrange in the model. So they're pretty flexible and um, they can give you a, a reasonable approximation of muscle path. So this is the process. So let's zoom in to the relevant bit of our model. So we're going to put in the adductor longus muscle, which runs from about here and to about here. So again, we do it by making sure we're in the um, construct mode. And like before, if you, if you right click, you can create a marker. And this is the left adductor longus origin. Uh, we want to attach this to the trunk, because pelvis is part of the trunk, and we're not bothered about the orientation, so the position is correct. And the insertion, I say roughly here, it's a bit vague, the insertion point. Create a marker, uh, adductor, sorry, left adductor longus insertion. And this is attached to the left thigh segment. And these are pretty small, but you zoom in and you can see there they are. You can change the size of markers if you want. It's, it's an option. If you edit them under properties, you can change how big they are. You can change various other things. OK, so we've got the two markers. And we can now go into Create Muscle. And we can look at the different properties that we have for muscle. Muscles always run from an origin to an insertion. So left adductor origin, left adductor insertion. So this is the strap. This is the, the, the position that the, the muscle occupies in the body. And I say you can have via points, you can wrap them around a single cylinder, and you can wrap them around two parallel cylinders. Uh, you can also get them to report the torque, uh, which can be very useful. It's, uh, it's commonly what you might want to do for recording things like moment arms. And then we have various different models about how the muscle contracts. The simple model, which is, I call the Minetti Alexander model because I use their formulation, but it's a, a simple hill model. Uh, we have a, a modified version of this that includes elasticity in serial and parallel. And you can also just use a plain old damp spring. Um, if we go for the Minetti Alexander model, um, you've got various parameters, some of which you probably won't want to change. Force per unit area, this is widely reported in the literature about this sort of value. Vmax controls the shape of the curve, um, but you will need to change the physiological cross-section area and the fiber length. So this will be a value that you'll want to look up in one of the standard publications that, that lists values, or maybe you can get it from dissection or uh, MRI or whatever. But if you don't get these values right, then the muscle won't generate a physiologically correct value for the force. And the activation K is another um, a shape factor probably you won't need to change. So for the moment, we'll leave it at its, um, at its default PCA, but that is actually far too high. It's a square meter. It's uh, going to be much, much less than that. But you can edit it later on when you've got the paper out. And of course, this is the left adductor longus. Often it's quite handy to add the fact that it's a muscle, it's simply because these IDs are you know, unique globally. And so if you call your muscle something with muscle in, it, it can be useful. And there it is, stretching between the two points. And you can go through, typical models will have a lot of muscles, so this may take you a fair amount of time, but you just construct them one by one um, until you've got the whole thing finished. Make sure I save it again, because... Very, very easy for software, science software. It can crash a lot.